<laughs> Is it live? <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> Laura, can you see me okay? Mm -hmm. Yep, I can see okay. you fine. Perfect. So I think that we are live. Um, Hey guys, if you are just joining our Facebook Live right now, I'm Heather with My Life Well Loved, and I'm trying to refresh my Facebook screen to make sure you guys can see me okay. So if you join our live, please leave a comment and let us know below that you're seeing it okay. And I actually might pull up my phone just to make sure because we're actually using a different program than we have before. So um, what I'm going to do, oh, and I see it, Laura, so that's good. <laughs> yay <laughs> okay yay so we are alive it is working Woohoo! <laughs> okay so if you are watching the live please do us a huge favor and go ahead and leave us a comment and let us know that you're there and then just let us know if you have any questions and kind of like what you know you're seeing on your end so um Laura why don't I let you start it off and go ahead and tell everybody you know who you are and what your blog is I know some people might have come over from your blog but I would just love for them to kind of learn a little bit about you in case they haven't yeah sure hey guys um thank you all for joining us seriously though this is Laura and I blog over at walking in Memphis in high heels um oh goodness I've been blogging for four and a half years it started as fitness and fashion and everything and now it's well, still kind of everything, <laughs> and mom life since Layton. Um, I've had her since starting the blog, so she's two and a half now. But anyways, um, I'm excited to be doing this paleo challenge with Heather and our friend um, Jessica, which hopefully she'll hop on uh, Facebook Live with us next week. So, Yes, um, absolutely. <laughs> and so Laura actually has been one of my blogging friends now for, oh gosh, I don't even know how long or how we even met. No. I it's been a while though. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a long time. Maybe I'm sure. <laughs> yes. And so it's funny though because obviously she has a little girl named Layton and then I have a little boy named Layton and it's just spelled <laughs> a little bit differently. So um it, I think Laura, it was actually even your idea to do the paleo challenge. So why don't you kind of tell a little bit about your background with like, you know, healthy eating and or exercise and kind of like what made you want to do the paleo challenge. So I think everybody would kind of love hearing your story in that way. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I first started eating paleo or, um, primal. Um, oh gosh, I think it was about seven years ago, six or seven years ago. It's been a long time ago. Um, I learned about it at a boot camp I was going to, and one of the um, personal trainers there told me about it. And <clears throat> I think at the time they were doing a three day challenge, like 21 days. And he started, you know, telling us what all we had to do. And I was like, Oh God, that sounds horrible. There's no way I ever do that. that. That was my initial thought to that. I was just like, Oh no, no, no. I'll okay. We'll see how long I make it. And I think I went straight like with ever out having a, with, with ever, um, without having a cheat day or anything like that for, Oh my gosh, I think it was like a year and a half or something straight. And I was like, what the heck happened? That is so unlike me. But um, honestly, it's really not as hard to do once you start. I mean, I'm sure just like you and everybody else, I love the bread, I love the cheese, and all those other things. But um, yes, and the sweets. So start, bring it on. Oh my gosh, I know, right? The sweets. <laughs> but once you start and your body gets used to not having all those um, sugars and all the carbs and things in your body, it really makes a difference. You feel so good. So that's kind of what inspired me, I guess. You know, it's been tough, you know, since first getting pregnant with Leighton and then having her. And I know she's almost two and a half. And so I, I can only use that excuse for so long. But, you know, after that. <laughs> hey, we can use it, I think, for at least three years. So I know, right? Like, I've been trying on some of my jeans and I'm like, oh, yikes. Okay. Well, <laughs> I was like, it's time to uh, start something after the holidays. And I'd never done, um, a challenge or anything on my blog, a fitness challenge. And it's been a while since I've um, done, you know, a lot of fitness posts. So I thought, you know, this will be fun and it'll kind of keep me motivated and y'all will keep me motivated and keep me in check. And it'll give me a reason to continue on instead of like two days and then quitting. But, um, you know, because yeah. it's really more I, of a lifestyle change. You know what I mean? You're but exactly right. Tough. And <laughs> and Laura, you bring up a good point that, like, I was talking with some of the people that did the Whole30 challenge with me, you know, back in January. Mm -hmm. 
And they were like, literally the accountability of social media and like all the people doing it with you and like checking in with each other. They were like, that's what kept me motivated because my friends and family weren't doing it. <laughs> yeah. Because when you are commenting or messaging me like, so how's it going? And I'm like, Oh God, I just ate like a cupcake and a cheeseburger and fries. You know, I can't be doing that. So it really does help. I mean, and that's kind of, why well even like fitness classes and things like that work too because you know there's someone there to motivate you and someone to keep you accountable so yes exactly kind of why I want to start this and I thought Heather would be perfect to keep me in line <laughs> so oh gosh actually, I don't know my, my husband um I guess today technically is day Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday day five so we're in day five um uh, my husband actually has been doing it with me this time as well so if he started a couple days ahead of me he's being an overachiever so he's on day like oh, eight gosh. or something that's great too or, I'm sorry he's on day seven but oh hey like, yes <laughs> and it's, and... <laughs> hey what's up <laughs> It does help a lot, though, having your spouse or anyone in your house eat that way, too. Oh, my gosh. It makes yeah. such a difference. Because, you know, times before when I'm trying to eat healthy and, you know, he's ordering pizza or, or vice versa. Like, sometimes we're on the opposite <laughs> way. <wavelength, so. laughs> yes, I hear you for sure. Well, that's <laughs> awesome that you have Shane doing it with you. I'm so, so glad. <laughs> All right. So uh, tell me. Tell me a little bit about, you know, you now and why you're wanting to do this challenge and everything. And then we'll see if we have any questions or anything so far, too. Yeah, for sure. So, Laura, I'm not seeing your face anymore on my screen. Are you still seeing mine? I just want to make sure you're coming through. Uh -huh. okay. Did that do it? Yes, I did do it. Okay, yay. <laughs> <laughs> um, people don't want to miss your beautiful face, so. <laughs> um, Yes. Yeah, so you guys, if you have questions, please leave them in the comments because that's what makes Facebook Live so much fun is that they get to be interactive. And like we love seeing that you guys are here. So Gina, you just popped in. Oh, hey, Gina. So good to see you. She said, Heather, you look gorgeous. Oh, gosh. Girlfriend, thank you so much. That's so very nice. Um, but we are um, just kind of talking right now about kind of what got us started on the Paleo Challenge and how that's all working. But actually, so most of you guys already know that I did Whole30 back in January. And so after I did Whole30, you know, of course, then Valentine's Day sneaks up on you. And then, you know, just like things are around the office or around wherever with all those treats. Um, and y'all, I think most of you know, I teach Pure Bar. And even our Pure Bar clients, which is so sweet and thoughtful, but they'll like bring us these amazing cookies that are like homemade and so good. And like a little cookie boutique <laughs> in Homewood. And I'm like, how are you supposed to turn that down? <laughs> so um, anyway, I kind of had gotten a little bit where I was like letting the sugar eat back into my day to day routine. And um, I just thought, you know, I really because Laura had said that she was interested in doing this paleo challenge. And I was like, you know, it was so much fun doing Whole30 with my crew last time that I was like, why not try to go ahead? And I think you mentioned, actually, Laura, that since spring break was coming up for a lot of people, um, that it was like, <laughs> you know, maybe it's time to get back in gear. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so um, when Laura brought up that idea to me, I was like, okay, oh, who's that? That's who's Spike. Oh, Spike. hey, Spike. <laughs> so cute spike wants in on the action um but anyway when laura mentioned to me doing the paleo challenge i was like yes that sounds so great i would love to do that and so um we decided to do it together and we actually are even doing it with jessica from happily hughes and we've got a giveaway right now that all three of us are doing with a brand called yummy that has like fitness wear. So if you haven't been to our blogs and they're to win yet, make sure you do that. Um, because what we want to do is have actually, and I mean, I think Laura, we can go ahead and announce this. We've decided instead of doing two weeks that we want to challenge ourselves to a full month. So if yes, you even want to yes. elaborate on that a little bit more, but. Um, yes. Well, first I'll, um, I'll talk to the giveaway you said. So we're giving away um, three $50 gift cards to yummy. They actually, um, I've got, I think three or four pairs of their leggings now and a few of their sports bras and I actually have I think three pairs of their jeans so they're not just fitness wear they carry shapewear jeans lounge wear like just all kinds of stuff really but they have some really cute clothing things so we've got that giveaway going over on the blog right now and I've got a um, giveaway with HelloFresh 
um, going on for three meals. So that'll kind of help people who are having problems with eating healthy at home and cooking on a budget and <laughs> in a certain amount of time with a kid running around. <laughs> exactly. I think that. Yes. Be and so cool. actually, um, since you brought that up, let's do talk a little bit about meals because Gina actually mm -hmm. chimed in and said, I need simple, yummy meals. Taste is everything. So why don't you kind of share some of your like, favorite paleo meals that either you make or that you've made with HelloFresh, and then I'll kind of talk some about what I've been doing. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. My husband does do a lot of the cooking, and he Go loves Shane, go Shane. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, yeah, you, Shane. Thank you, Shane. Thank you, Shane. Yeah, he, just... he doesn't cook recipes, but that's okay because we love meat. So he seriously, yeah. he loves the grill. We just got a grill, um, a, a new grill for Christmas. Um, so he loves to grill um, these chicken thighs, um, steak, anything, honestly. He grilled me some pork chops last week. But we're big on, especially when we're trying to eat a certain way like this, you know, I want something filling. So a lot of times we will do meat and vegetables and we'll eat a salad with almost everything. But some of my other um, recipes, I love, 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 love quiche. So I actually make crustless quiche. Um, I just do it in the um, little muffin tin pans, like the 12 count ones, um, cook it in there and I don't add cheese to it. So I leave out the cheese really and I get though whole cream that you normally put in it. So I just leave out those couple things. And honestly, it still tastes just as great. Like, you know, put in whatever vegetables you want. Um, I usually do mushrooms, um, onions, bell peppers. Um, and then you can do bacon or um, just veggie if you want. I do ham a lot of times just because it's easy and quick. And um, that's kind of one of my go-to meals. That, and then I also make... Um, meatloaf without the bread or cracker crumbs in it. I do that a lot too. So, cause I love meatloaf <laughs> from the yes, South. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm with you. We actually have, so Gina just said my husband and middle, middle child are picky. And then she said, where can I find recipes? I'm horrible at winging it. So Gina, I would say, first of all, can you kind of tell us like what your husband and middle child don't like? And then secondarily, um, I will put a link about all the recipes that I talk about in the comments after the video. And Laura, if you don't mind maybe putting a link to your Pinterest board, if you pin yeah. paleo recipes. Yeah, um, absolutely. And I'm awesome. doing a post, not next week, but the week after for some of my favorite paleo snacks too, but I'll leave some, some links too. I go to marksdailyapple.com. I use them a lot to find recipes. That's one of my yeah. favorites, but. I'll, and I honestly, Gina, I'm, Gina said they don't like anything green. Ooh, that's hard. <laughs> um, <laughs> but the good news is that maybe at least she said they don't like veggies for the most part. But the good thing is that you can make, you know, the meat and maybe even they could eat potatoes because mm -hmm. potatoes actually are paleo. So sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, both are paleo. Um, so you even could make like homemade hash browns or um, I think even maybe Cascadian Farms and some of those brands actually even have like tater tots that you can do that don't have a ton of added sugars and like bad, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Preservatives in them. Um, yes. So, and I'll put links afterwards. I don't, I don't know, Gina, if they'll eat seafood or not, but one of my favorite like quick and easy paleo meals to do is in a cold oven, you set it to 425 and pop salmon on one pan in it. And then on another pan, I'll just put a bunch of veggies and do roasted veggies to serve with it. But for your okay. crew, you could do the potatoes. And she said we did sweet potato fries tonight. So, mm, yeah, those are my fave. <laughs> I love those. <laughs> um, but then, yeah, mainly I go to Pinterest and I just start searching like paleo recipes. Um, I have a board called Healthy Heather and then I have another one called Whole30 slash Detox and another one called Healthy um, Recipes, I think. So I'll put links to all those below, but there is a chicken thighs recipe that's, again, just a one sheet, throw it in the oven pan with a bunch of different spices. It's paleo. It's delicious. And I think your family would like it too, Gina. So um, I'll put that link as well below. So, um, And then, Laura, do you talk a little bit about, um, did you say HelloFresh that you're using? Yes. Yes. Okay. So um, tell kind of like what that is, how you use it. Yeah, um, it is a, um, I guess, kind of like a grocery deliv delivery um, subscription box. They have, I think, three, four, or five meals you can do. Um, we did the three meals 
Um, and I think they come out with maybe 12 different new um, meals each week. So there's like a menu you can look at and pick out which ones you think work for you. Um, they were all pretty healthy, very interesting. Um, there were a couple things that didn't work for the um, paleo or um, primal. I, I, I tend to try to be a little bit more strict because I'm bad. It's like if I give myself a little <laughs> way, oh, I'm horrible. No, like I'm, I'm totally out. <laughs> so I have You're to like, I like, can have sweet potato fries? Great, a pound of them. Let's go. <laughs> I, I have to be like hardcore. So, but, um, so yeah, we used um, HelloFresh and um, I cooked, let's see, some steak on top of the stove. Um, and I just left off the gravy for myself, but then my husband got the gravy and, um, oh gosh, what was it? Kale. And I think there were potatoes too. Yes. Roasted potatoes, which kind of like you said in the oven, like on a sheet, I love dicing up a lot of vegetables like zucchini, squash, onions, things like that. And I'm um, putting them in there with um, salt, pepper, and rosemary. I love, love, love. Ooh, rosemary. I love rosemary. Yum. <laughs> So good. Yeah. Shane, Shane grabbed our, our Hello Fresh boxes out here. So. Oh, awesome. Yes. That makes you feel like you're not deprived when you. If, I used to hate yes. Brussels sprouts, but now I love. Oh my gosh. Mine the same Brussels way, sprouts. Shane. <laughs> they are so they're good. So yes. Good. I, I mean, oh, they are so good. But, um, anyways, yeah, so they're not technically paleo, but a lot of the meals are actually, you can easily still do that and maybe just leave off you know a gravy or a side eye or something like that I mean but all the meals are pretty healthy in my opinion um so anyways yeah I'm doing a giveaway on that it ends I think next oh maybe next Thursday um we're giving away three meals but it is um depending on which service you do like three meals four meals five meals and I think there is um I think there was a a vegan and then a two family and then four people um so you can do one of those and i think the prices vary between like nine or ten dollars per meal per person but then i'm also got a um, coupon code so if you type in in all caps high heels 35 you'll actually get 35 dollars off your first um meal subscription so that would bring it down to like a little over four dollars a meal per person so eight bucks for two people so. And so one of the things that Gina asked, which I don't want you to miss it, um, is she said, um, ooh, Brussels sprouts and bacon, which, amen, sister, yes, they're so good. <laughs> That's what I was saying, then, you don't feel like being the problem. Yes. I made that one time with some onions and things in it. I need to find that recipe, too, and uh, send it to you. It's really good. Ooh, yes, please do. And you'll have to post on your blog so I can get it. Um, yes. Let's see. And then Gina says, hi, Kim. So, hey, Kim, glad you're joining us. And then Gina also said, can you get more than four servings? I have three boys, and we eat a lot, like, leftovers for lunch the next day. Do you know how many I servings you I believe right now four servings is the most. Um, I think they're wor working on adding, you know, a few more options to that. But for right now, I think it's just the um, – two servings or four servings oh cool okay wait, wait and then oh, if, if it possibly could be an option like you're ordering you know three four or five meals so maybe you could even do like um two of the meals the same so two four serving meals or something like that maybe of course that'd feed eight people but i'm just saying something like that may be an option you could order two of the same but if she wanted the leftovers and that might work out well so that's a good yeah. option <laughs> yeah um and actually, I think most of my people know this already, but so locally here in Birmingham, I've been using Considerate Joy Baking, which they're up in Bluff Park, and um, they actually have offered my readers different discount codes and stuff, but um, they just basically, you order by Saturday night at midnight, and then you can go up to the store and pick it up, or you can order delivery, but if you're not local, then they actually ship their baked goods, which you guys, they're monster cookies, <laughs> insane, <laughs> they're so good, um, and you're like, is this really healthy for me what it's good um but anyway then otherwise i've been um working with 80 fresh which i think you guys have seen me post about on snapchat and instagram stories but my favorite meal that i've had with them so far was a shrimp and grits recipe which used cauliflower rice and oh my gosh it's so good and what i think is really cool about theirs is you can order single serving so you can order like one if you're you're single you know or you live by yourself or don't have a roommate 
Um, or you can order, you know, like for Eric and I, we get two meals and we could get up to four or five or six or however many if we want leftovers. And what I really like about those is the prep time is under 10 minutes, under 10 minutes, which I'm like, yes, Lord, please. <laughs> um, cause Laura knows how that is. She's a working mom and also does the blog and then Shane works. And so, you know, it's just, you're busy. And even when you order, you know, these meals, sometimes it ends up where you're like, oh my gosh, I have so many you know, just like dirty dishes still afterwards. And so with this, we've been really impressed. Um, and I'm going to put the coupon code for you guys in there. But if you use the discount code LOVED20, you'll get 20% off either their starter package or any of the meals. So Laura and I have got you the hookup with some discounts on meals, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And let me see. Um, Gina said, ooh, had the monster cookies yesterday for the first time. So good. So Yes, they are. <laughs> Agree. <laughs> um, Laura, I'm going to have to send you some for real. You have to try them. So okay. Good. Oh, I definitely will. I had a serious um, sweet tooth craving Thursday night, like on day two. <laughs> and then oh, I was no. craving. <laughs> yeah. So um, we actually have an amazing restaurant um, downtown Memphis off of Main Street called uh, Bedrock. And uh, they actually, it's like all. Um, paleo foods but they have a lot of snacks and things too like sweets they um Ooh. they make, yes <laughs> they make let's see it was a cherry cobbler and also these their version of blondies and um i'm sorry to be talking about sweets now y'all i know sorry. gosh <laughs> I know. <laughs> but there's no grains in them no sugar or anything oh yes. my gosh they're so so, so yes, I'm, I'm, I usually try to stock up on those just like as an extra in case, you know, like I've got to have something, but there are, um, which I, I've, I can't even remember the name of the company now, but there's, um, some different subscription companies, um, where they'll mow you boxes and it's like all paleo snacks or sweets and things like that. I need to, I need to look and figure out what the name is and, and leave it, um, leave it for some of y'all though, just to kind of have something on hand, you know, when you, you do need something but that is yes. still paleo. <laughs> I totally agree. And in fact, um, <laughs> that kind of brings me to my next point. I'm actually putting this recipe up on the blog tomorrow for you guys, but my favorite, like I'm in a pinch. I want something sweet or like it's, you know, 10 o'clock at night and my husband's having ice cream. Like what can I have? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's just to take a apple core and put it down over the apple apple slices, then I melt almond butter, drizzle it over the top, and then either do blueberries or coconut unsweetened flakes. And you guys, it is so, so stinking. Eat up the almond butter? Well, some of them are runny enough on their own, but if not, then you can heat it up or in the microwave. I mean, no, you I really need my, uh, my apple slices and almond butter all the time, but I need to try maybe heating it up a little. And I even like them on grapes. Yeah. Oh, I haven't done that yet. Yeah, I think one day I was at work and um, I was, you know, really trying to find something healthy to eat. I had grapes, but I was like, okay, this isn't cutting. And I looked in my bottom drawer and I had some almond butters. I was like, well, it's good on other fruit. Why not? Oh my gosh, it really is good on grapes. Seriously. Ooh, okay. I love it on blueberries. So I'm sure I'd love it on grapes too. I'll try that next. That so. is good. Uh, I'm Orange. excited about cinnamon and apples. Mm, that's good too. Gosh, that sounds good. I'm excited about sharing some of my snacks with y'all. Um, not this coming week, but the next week, though, because I spent some of, I guess it was Friday, making a bunch of them. I did um, baked peaches. Super easy. Just took a whole Ooh, peach, yeah. half, put it in the oven, and sprinkled some cinnamon on it. You can do that or put a little honey on it if you want, something like that. But um, And then just baked it. It didn't take long at all. It was so good, naturally sweet, and Leighton actually tried some and really liked it, too. Oh, so. <laughs> that's so yummy. And I love anything peachy. Yes, please. <laughs> I love fruit. I love fruit. I love fruit. I, exactly. Um, Gina said it's peanut butter, not paleo friendly. So I'll let you feel that one, Laura. Um, well, I technically, I don't think it is. <laughs> no, it's tell, not. I actually tend to do, which I probably should have explained this in the beginning, but I actually tend to lean a little bit more towards primal than paleo. Um, but just for word's sake, I usually say paleo, um, because people have heard of that and most people haven't heard of primal. Um, but yeah, so usually you'll stick with, um, almond butter and it literally is just almonds in it. I think maybe some places add, um, oil in it, but you want to stick away from like, um, 
palm oil or anything like that but um usually you'll want to try to find one i think where the ingredients are just almond um I'm trying to think of what some of my favorite brands are that are paleo friendly um i'm actually I'm using to... tamara's post is about naturally more i don't know if you've seen them or not but they're an, a paleo okay. almond butter and okay. that's the one i'm using in my recipe with the apple and the coconut and stuff um, but they also gotcha. have a chocolate hazelnut butter oh my gosh <laughs> It's like That's sensually good. <laughs> yes, I know. I've been. Go no, ahead. You go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> I've been trying not to buy that one. Like I bought it before in the past, and it is so good. But once you start eating that one, like I didn't want to go back to regular almond butter. So I was like, I've got to stay away from that. One. I was like, I've got to stick to just plain <laughs> almond butter here. Seriously. So <laughs> smart. <laughs> um, Gina said, I've never had almond butter. I've been resistant to trying it. We love peanut butter. And then she said, chocolate hazelnut, dot, dot, dot. Yes, please. <laughs> yes. I loved peanut butter. Absolutely loved it. I mean, oh my gosh, I would eat peanut butter on almost anything, you know, vegetables. Um, crackers, whatever, bread, peanut butter, jelly sandwich, it didn't matter. But honestly, once I started trying almond butter, um, I've got to where I don't really even care for peanut butter anymore. That's the weird thing. Like, I, I don't Whoa. really like the taste Or I love almond butter now. Yes. Dang, girl. Crazy. I mean, I, I love so almond butter, almond too, meat. but I just still love peanut butter. <laughs> you're like, you're taking a little too far. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And, I mean, I guess we should rewind. So the reason you can't have peanut and therefore peanut butter, and correct me if I'm wrong, is I think it's because it's a legume, and yes, technically you're yes. not supposed to have legumes like, when you're doing paleo, yes, like, so that also beans. means like chickpeas and beans and yes, those things. Beans. It's like yeah. that. Yes. 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 Um, which, in my normal day-to-day -day life, I include those for the paleo challenge. I'm trying not to, but I think that there's kind of like some... Um, I don't know what the exact word is, but maybe like a little bit of disagreement, like 50 50 about whether people think that you should include them or shouldn't include them. I fall in the, I don't care camp. I think it's fine. Um, but during this challenge and when I did whole 30, I just did almonds and almond butter. That's kind of what I'm doing. I'm trying to lean. And that's why at first, when you asked me, I was like, I don't think technically just because I lean towards the stricter end of it. I mean, obviously for this challenge, I'm, I'm trying to, yeah. um, because like I said, you know, if you give me a little leeway at the beginning or if you tell me, you know, like, ah, follow, you know, 90-10 rule or you can have a cheat day, one cheat meal will turn into two, three, a day, two days. I mean, that's <laughs> how it is for me. Maybe not everyone, but I have to just be a little stricter and just follow it. It just makes it easier for me. I'm kind of all in or all out. So <laughs> I hear you on that. That's good. Um, so I feel like we've already been talking for 30 minutes and so, and it, it's just flying by. So I do want to make sure <laughs> that we get to the questions that people actually asked us and maybe what we're talking about that we feel like we didn't get to like completely cover. Maybe that's what we'll talk about next week. So I feel like maybe even next week we could talk some about um, us feeding our latent healthy foods and what those look like. Um, Cause I know people have asked me about that and I'm sure you hear those questions too. And then we haven't even gotten to talk about fitness yet at all. So <laughs> maybe that's something for next week too. Um, but one question that I did get from um, one of my um, Instagram followers was, how do we avoid bread? So do you want to start with that, Laura, and then I'll follow up? Um, yeah, sure. Um, I mean, well, it was tough when I first ever started eating paleo. I mean, because I didn't realize how much I ate bread. But literally, almost everywhere you go, you know, or when you're looking for something fast and convenient, you know, everything is a sandwich or at least has grains in it in, in some way, you know what I mean? It's breaded or something. Um, it was tough, but even sometimes when I go out to eat, eat and things, um, I've even occasionally ordered, you know, a grilled chicken sandwich or something, and I'll just throw away the bread kind of as an option. But um, once you get used to not eating it, I think you'll just notice the changes in the way you feel. I mean, of course, you know, you're going to, Eventually, I think you'll look different and feel different, but seriously, like every time I um, eat at home or go out to eat or anywhere, you get done and you feel full, but full has a different meaning now. It just means that you're not hungry anymore. It doesn't mean that you're sitting there like, 
oh my gosh, oh, I feel miserable. You know what I mean? Like you don't feel stuffed or bloated or sick and I don't get like the headaches from, you know, the sugar like later on. Um, that was some of the biggest things. Like I always feel good. So it kind of, once you start doing it, I don't know, you just kind of get used to it. It kind of, you love the way you feel, seriously. Yes, and hi Paige, I see you just joined us too. We're glad to have you here. And you guys, even though we are kind of starting to wind down a little bit because we have already been gabbing for like 30 minutes, <laughs> um, if you have questions still, interrupt us and shoot them in there and we will make sure and answer all your questions before we hop off though. Um, and maybe Laura, if you don't mind kind of sharing like, what do you find yourself eating instead as a lunch maybe is that a lot of leftovers or how are you avoiding taking a sandwich or doing a flatbread or something like that for lunches because I feel like a lot of times that's where people can falter is lunch or breakfast for the grain stuff oh yeah yeah absolutely um honestly I, I don't eat salads or a whole whole lot for like my main meal but when it comes to lunch that's what I do, especially, um, but I'll just pile on the meats and veggies. I love vegetables though, but, um, I don't take my lunch a whole lot for work. I'm going to be honest with you. I should, but I just haven't put in the time. I'm lazy, I guess. And so oh, that's, I will use well, that's actually food. great because can you tell them like, what do you eat out then that's paleo? Oh yeah. Um, well I, <laughs> last week, I guess it was last Friday. I actually went to Jimmy John's on my lunch break, which I don't know if y'all have Jimmy John's, but they're we a do. sandwich shop, but you can get an unwitch. And so it's actually completely, sorry, all these other notifications keep popping up. So that's why I keep having to swipe constantly. <laughs> um, <laughs> but anyway, so I usually get an unwitch, um, and just get, you know, whatever kind of meat on there that I want and pile on lots of veggies and it's seriously it's it's huge and it's just wrapped in lettuce and then the paper and just hold it and eat it I mean you get kind yeah. of used to it and it, it is really good but that's something that's really um quick and convenient um let's see but yeah a lot of times I do have salads honestly like I'll even go to Kroger sometimes on my lunch break go over to the salad bar and make me a really big salad with tons of meat and vegetables and things on it on my lunch yeah. break Trying to think what else I ate last week. I know I posted a couple pictures on IG stories, <laughs> Instagram yes. stories. Yes. And I mean, I will say sometimes, like, I like even just doing some tuna. And I know that some people think that's gross, but you got to look and try to try to make sure that you get ones without any added sugar or anything. But I'll do the tuna and I'll either add paleo mayo or I'll even just do like balsamic drizzles with apple slices. And I think mixed all together, that's actually really good. Um, and like you, I'll do salads. Gina said I knew, never knew that was an option. I, know, I just learned when we did Whole30 in January. I'd never heard of an unwitch before at Jimmy John's. So yeah. I'm glad I learned about it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They're, um, they're good, too. You just got to so get good. out there. You got to get in the store, order your <laughs> order your unwitch, and get out before seeing the chips and the chocolate chip cookies <laughs> over by the register. So. Exactly. <laughs> and <laughs> run past the sweet tea. Just run. <laughs> yeah. All of us Southerners yeah. are like, sweet tea, maybe. <laughs> um, but I was going to say, too, that like even at Chick-fil-A or Burger King or any of those places, you can always take the bun off. Um, yes. And then I actually – say that again? They have grilled nuggets, too. Yes. You can get – Yes. I get grilled nuggets there a lot of times, too. That's pretty good. Yes. Those are really good. It's um, better than – especially if you have a toddler who wants to eat at Chick-fil-A – you know what I mean? So that you can eat something. <laughs> exactly. And I will say sometimes I'll even for a snack or for lunch, if I'm kind of desperate for something, I'll even get like a pickle or a cucumber and wrap deli meat around it that doesn't have added sugar or preservatives in it. Um, and it's actually pretty good, believe it or not. Um, or even if I make like the paleo tuna salad or paleo chicken salad, I'll put it on top of um, cucumber slices um, mm -hmm. and I've even taken, this is going to sound weird, but I'll take a cucumber, cut it in half, seed it with a spoon, you know, over the sink. So it's pretty quick and easy. Mm -hmm. And then I fill that empty part of the cucumber and make it back together with a sandwich. So there's deli meat and my lettuce and all that stuff in between the cucumber on each oh, that's side. Pretty, so. that's pretty, that sounds pretty cool. This, I'm getting uh, some Pinterest to you guys. <laughs> you are. I'm proud of you. I'm, I'm <laughs> I used to just pin things and they were just like, 
there. Like I didn't ever go back and like, you know, refer to them and make things. And I'm actually starting to do it now. I'm like, Ooh, it only took how many years? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Although I will say for me, it's only about food. I'm still not Pinteresty crafty mom. That's just not me. <laughs> That's my sister. <laughs> uh, I did make Friday. I made some, um, well, I'm not even sure what you call them. But I guess they were guacamole. This might sound, this might not even sound that great, but I swear it's really good. Um, <laughs> guacamole, or, or if you want to just say avocado boiled eggs, or um, I'm sorry, deviled eggs. So I boiled the eggs and, and I just took some avocado and uh, mixed in a little bit of the yolk of the egg with it. And um, let's see, you can put in if you want like onions and tomatoes, lemon juice, lime juice, whatever, just like you were making your guacamole or you can just leave it plain avocado put a little salt and pepper on there or whatever I didn't use mayonnaise because I have not um bought any paleo mayonnaise yet so I've been doing without but I need to find some so but yeah those were actually really really good and then what else did I make um oh my gosh I made some um I took cauliflower and just took it all off like the stem you know to where it's just the little tiny small pieces um sprinkled it all out on a cookie sheet um and then put some salt on top of it and baked it in the oven um i think it might have been about 20 minutes or so until it starts getting brown and even um kind of roast them in there and then when you get done you can put a little um minced onion or onion powder too if you want or you could just leave it with the salt and pepper but they're actually a really good snack, and um, it kind of is similar almost sort of to where if you were eating, like, popcorn or something, it just kind of gives you that salty, you know, you kind of have a, um, you're craving something, but, you know, you can't have popcorn or something like that. It's actually really, really good. My mom tried it, and she didn't think she was going to like it, and she loved them, so. Oh, wow. Well, I just heard my husband come in the kitchen, and he has been craving <laughs> and wanting some hard-boiled egg, or not hard-boiled eggs, but deviled eggs. And so now deviled that you've said that, I'm like, mental note, got to make them for him. <laughs> I, I, Leighton loves eggs, too, so I think she's had, like, two or three of them today. So I keep those on hand all the time. Like, I just got them awesome. Boiling. Another dozen of them, and that'll be like a snack or breakfast or whatever. I just take them to work with me. I usually try to eat them before I get to the office so people aren't complaining, but <laughs> but they are. <laughs> that smell, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They are convenient, though. Gina, I love this. She said strong and sweet. I'm assuming that was about the tea. Um, and then she <laughs> said, these snacks sound great. Got to find the time and energy to make them. Girl, I'm telling you, Sunday meal prep. That's like, it gets me yeah. through the week. I don't do stuff on Sunday. It's game over. And for other people, they're like, oh, that's what I do on, you know, Monday during nap time or that's what I do on Saturday afternoon. So you kind of have to figure out, I guess, what works for your schedule. Yeah. So when you get, you kind of get started and get the hang of doing certain things like that, it, it, it's really not that bad. I know sometimes it's easier said than done, but it does help trying to be a little prepared and have things on hand, you know, so that you're not getting hungry and then you're like, you know end up going to the vending machine or something like that at work so exactly I mean, and I will say that that's what these meal services that we mentioned like mentioned like 80 fresh and I think you said hello fresh yeah fresh yes so that is the great thing about those though because a lot of times I feel like if I get just two or three meals for the week for Eric and I from those then it's like not as big of a deal to prepare another two meals and snacks does that make sense Oh, yeah. yeah, thank you, yeah. Gina. We'll see you later, my friend. She's got said she's got to go. <laughs> yeah, my um, my phone is getting ready to die here in a little bit too. Oh, no. <laughs> well, then that turned out perfectly. I think that we answered all the questions that were initially asked about this session. But um, you guys, we're going to be doing these every week on Sundays at eight thirty, and unless we tell you otherwise. Um, so make sure that you check out Laura's website. I'm going to put the link to her. Um, so if she's talked about in her blog at the end of this video and Laura, you're going to share it on your Facebook for people to see everything, right? Yes. Yes. I definitely okay. am. Awesome. So send me any links and we'll update it for you guys. And that way, when you keep watching it throughout the week and please share it with your friends, make sure you follow us on Instagram. I'm at my life all loved. And then Laura. Yes. You want to walking in Perfect. <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard. Oh, sorry, walking in Memphis and high heels .com. Yeah, and so we'll be doing this for a month. We've kind of decided to go ahead and extend it already. So, yes, get an so go team, go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for joining me, Laura. We'll see you later. Bye, guys. Yeah. Have a great Sunday. Thank you. Bye, Shane. Bye, Bye, Bye George. <laughs> <laughs>